Hi, my name is William Higgins, and I am going to present to you the future of distributed capture. First, let me tell you a little bit about me. I have been in the ECM industry for 17 uh, plus years. For the past six years, I've spent at uh, SunTrust Bank as a product lead, solution architect, developer. And I spent eight years at Turner Broadcasting before that, and all those years cumulatively, I've been doing mostly the same work within capture, uh, imaging, and, uh, and workflow. Started my career as a value-added reseller, so I did get to see a little bit of the world outside of a customer focus, and so I have a little bit of experience on both sides of the fence. And I am an ECM practitioner, an AIM certified practitioner, so... So first, before we move into, uh, I want to get a little bit of background on centralized capture versus is distributed capture. And most of you, if you're uh, viewing this presentation, are familiar with ECM and capture. Uh, this may be a review. But with centralized capture, we're talking about scanning that's performed at a large imaging center. Um, large batches of documents fed into very you know, expensive high-speed scanners. And those are usually expensive to run and maintain. Now the second bullet point, out of process capture, really means that the paper is taken out of the process where the users are actually using those and moving those to those imaging centers, to a centralized location. And certainly from a high volume perspective, that's usually and has been in the past productive. But with distributed capture, the scanning is performed at the source. So you're in process your capture. Those documents are being captured where essentially they live today in their process. The scanners are smaller, less expensive, and in some cases leverage existing MFP devices. Now with centralized capture there's a trend where outsourced vendors are able to take those operations and effectively outsource them or provide that as a service rather than a company, a large company or a small medium company having to manage that themselves. Now the key benefits for distributed capture usually land somewhere around faster processing, having a reduced cycle time, reduced risk of lost or misfiled documents, enable knowledge experts to contribute directly, and transform documents into usable business data. Now there are some observed trends that I have seen personally in the industry and the first one is basically during the economic downturn I've seen that ECM projects especially with distributed catcher have experienced an increased demand and budget. Also we've seen a trend where document capture is set up as a utility rather than a custom extension of your IT infrastructure. And by utility, you can sort of relate that to maybe printing or even faxing. When you think about those, it's usually just something that's available and you don't have to do real special implementation. Many people like to think of scanning as a very similar way. Again, why you might see some popularity of doing distributed capture on an MFP device. It's very simple. It's just there. Now for distributed capture, what's driving the success? Well, one of the first and major things is scanner hardware. The scanners are smaller, they're faster, they're very full featured, and certainly much less expensive. And certainly what I don't list here is how easy they are to install being a USB device in some cases. But also the internet and advanced web applications have really pushed the success of distributed capture. Having a web-based capture solution with very little footprint on a desktop is much easier to maintain and update uh, enhancements to that application. And certainly the internet and having broadband technologies in remote locations certainly makes that success even more. So all of this about distributed capture what is next? What's the next leap for capture? Capture to the cloud. The cloud offers a very unique benefit 
as we look to push distributed capture. So first of all, in this diagram, we have our typical central location and our central capture methodology, large businesses, centralized location. And as we've talked through with remote or distributed capture, the concept is pushing that process to those remote offices, to those remote locations, and bringing that capture process a little bit further out in the process. But as we push even further, we think about people now working from their home offices. It's even beyond the remote. They're working from home. We also have road warriors that are out and need to be able to capture their documents as they work on the road. We also have transportation needs. There are many large capture implementations that are around capturing certain things around shipping. But also we have the concept of people that are able to do work at places like Starbucks, the coffee shop, or even on the golf course. And all of that is basically saying that we want to push capture mobile. And traditional companies are going to have a very hard time building out infrastructure that can cover mobile. That infrastructure typically is comfortable in the area of central and remote. But once you go to mobile, it's sort of an area that is uncharted. And that's why the cloud is so key to distributed capture and that mobile space, is being able to leverage a cloud-based service or services and infrastructure rather than having to build it out yourself. So as we continue on, with cloud as this sort of future for distributed capture, we're going to push the capture process even beyond remote offices. We're going to extend that in-process capture even further, further into the process. As soon as that document is created, or as soon as that you meet that client, we're also going to be enabling that mobile workforce. That is a huge area of IT that are having to be dealt with right now, which is dealing with the mobile workforce that is being enabled with, with smartphones, tablets, and etc. But also, the cloud will enable rapid deployment and reduced infrastructure, as we sort of just talked about around that centralized and remote infrastructure. Now, we can reduce that need with cloud-based services. As we get into maybe some specific examples that I've experimented with, the Fujitsu ScanSnap N1800 is a very good example. It is actually more of an appliance. It's a network attached, or I like to call a cloud connected scanner. It does not require a PC. It just requires an internet connection, and it's able to connect directly to a number of services, either on your own network or in a cloud. It has a powerful SDK to integrate with existing applications. You could administrate it remotely. You don't have to physically be there. And with little to no training to similar MFP devices. Login, security, all that is handled at the device. Now I had created this diagram when I first got my hands on an N1800 to sort of show uh, visually uh, an idea of flow, if you will, about how one would use this as scanning to the cloud. You could take your dot, your paper stacks and paper documents and feed them into the N1800 and use a service like Box to store those documents. And Box natively having the infrastructure and the software to be able to view that document on a tablet, mobile phone, PC, just about anything. There's also a new segment of hardware that's coming out to support, if you will, this concept of distributed capture in the cloud. And these are mobile scanners. And I'm going to provide you with some examples of what manufacturers are doing with mobile scanners. First of all, the Canon P215, the Scantini as it's called, is a USB powered and connected scanner. Very small, can, be fit, can fit easily into someone's bag. There's no software to install. It's an interesting uh, a trick that they have where the actual software is embedded in you know, a little bit of disk space on that scanner itself. 
so you don't have to fumble around with a CD or anything like that or download if you will it's all right there you plug it in and it pops up and you're able to scan very simple very portable the Fujitsu S1100 is another example even smaller in fact this is the smallest scanner on the market it is also USB powered and it has very powerful integrated software that can run on your computer that connects directly with a number of applications as well as cloud-based services the third and a very interesting concept is the Xerox mobile scanner this is a battery powered Wi-Fi enabled scanner so unlike the first two it doesn't require a USB cable and connecting directly to a computer this device is powered by a battery and it has an iFi SC card built into it so you can scan without a computer or anything directly to the memory card and then when in range of either a computer Wi-Fi or whether your tablet it can actually transfer those images directly to those devices or those networks it's a very unique and new concept that is just now being seen and I believe you'll see more of this especially as we see the adoption of mobile capture or at least capturing to the cloud with distributed capture but with all that said for mobile scanners there is certainly room for growth we're very early on in these stages you know the mobile scanners are geared toward consumers and road warriors at the moment not necessarily big corporate enterprises there's limited cloud services integrations at the moment some of these devices are difficult to install and configure and sometimes even use and in general they do need better API and SDK and possibly even fleet management if they want to see an adoption at the enterprise level another area that is very interesting a trend that we've seen with smartphones is using a phone's camera to capture documents I am displaying an example of that JotNot which is um, a solution that is available uh, for download from your iOS devices and I also believe Android but is this really an effective way to scan or to do mobile scanning as we compare it to an actual mobile scanner because with a camera phone you have to really be concerned about your lighting your focus the aspect cropping quality file size it's very difficult to get a very quality scan it can be done but it's not very easy I have a link in this document to a white paper that was done comparing the two but every time I look at a camera phone scanning a document I do kind of think of this because this is not really effectively a good document solution but that all being said there is a place for phone camera capture in your mobile strategy just it's just not an exclusive use for it so who to watch right now there's a number of companies that are doing some very good things with the cloud and capture and document management Abby who's always been a leader in OCR technologies has developed an OCR cloud-based OCR SDK and this will help enable mobile applications and web applications to leverage some very powerful document transformations and services via the cloud also office drop is a very interesting cloud-based document management solution for small businesses and individuals and one thing that they do well is scanning they have free scanning software that can scan directly to the cloud and supports a number of twain devices the last two I feature here is Alfresco and Spring CM both with very significant cloud-based strategies around document management some certainly do capture better than others but in general looking at building out a cloud-based or hosted solution around document management and capture these companies are doing a lot in that space so finally the last slide I would want to leave you with 
is again going back to our concept of showing all the areas now that we're looking to enable capture. And we're building out now a total ecosystem that really cloud is a piece of and still leverages an existing sort of on-premise system. So with distributed capture being pushed more to mobile and to the cloud, we need to look at this holistically and as vendors sort of see this cycle of being able to possibly capture and use cloud-based services, but then also bring this back into their corporation and to their system of record. And I wanted to thank you very much for listening. Again, my name is William Higgins. My contact information is below. Certainly, I appreciate anybody reach out and engage in the conversation around where distributed capture is going. Also in this presentation, I have a number of links to products and services that we've talked about in this presentation. Feel free as you want to research things more, use these links to help you get to those areas that we talked about. And thank you very much.